Hello, I'm Quinn Keon. And I'm Rich Smith. And this is Real, Real Hunting. I always use rubber gloves whenever I'm dealing with any kind of blood. I suggest you do the same. And then I use the bag to bag the gloves back up and bag my bloody knife and usually the heart too because we save that. Coons could get into it. I'm sure they will. We know there's lots of those down here, don't we? Mm-hmm. What did we get on camera the one time, like six? Yes. One picture. Yep. I like to take a strip of skin about an inch wide down the belly. I know this is different than probably most other people do it, but I find it gives me a little more room to work and it makes it easy for me to get the genitals off. What time is it? Oh yeah. You got time. I think it was about 20 to 10 when I was talking to Rich, so. You got time to get him out of, get him out of here and get me to where you gotta be. Okay. Caden has a parent teacher conference today at noon, so we can hear how good of a boy he is. You think? They gonna tell us you're a good boy? All right. <laughs> Nothing like putting you on the spot, huh? All right, separate the muscles here. Got a ligament cut. So there. Now that skin gets to spread apart because I got that inch strip down. And it's not that wide, the skin isn't, see? It's just a little strip, but everything else can open up and I got access to get them cleaned out nicely here. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. Find the end of this sternum. hole that I can work with from. Those is guts. Yep. It's the stomach. You don't want to cut any of this open. So I'm pulling to one side to keep tension on my incision. I'm gently using the blade of the knife just to get through the surface. These are the intestines, Keenan. One more ligament to cut there. What do you think that is? What? That's his boy parts. 
Are we going to have that on video? Yep. It's a real deal, Caden. This is real hunting, remember? Yes. Don't cut that stomach out, then that makes it stink. Yep. We'll make a small hole in the diaphragm, just like that. What's that? Air coming out. And, uh... Diaphragm trim back here. It sounds like he's burping. Yeah. Gas coming back out of his stomach and his esophagus cave. Carefully cut the diaphragm. Far down as I can get it at this point on both sides. Dad, it's making a weird tape picture. That just means that the tape's getting near its end. That's yeah. alright. Okay, now I got lots of room. I pull away some of the connective tissue around the base of the heart. I can feel the heart up in there. And then I go all the way up as far as I can. Get a hold of the trachea. Follow my other arm gently, carefully, with my knife. Get my knife up in there and uh, Trachea cut loose. It's a tough bone. It's not bones, but it is tough. Did so, get it? that's loose. Oh, it is esophagus, it's not. Dang it. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It's a bad thing, because I don't want any. Food to come back up. Now. There. There. Now I can grab a hold of the heart. It gives me something to hang on to. And I can pull back. Start getting this cleaned out. At this point, I continue cutting around the diaphragm. Get that freed. Yeah, I can zoom all the way into the deer. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. So now, get all that out, and all we've got left is the, uh, large intestine colon area. Is that gas coming out of it? It's just steam because it's warm in there and cold out here. Oh. So, a lot of guys like to cut that bone. I used to break that with my knife, but I, I hurt myself way too many times on the butt of my knife doing it. So, then I started using a saw, but then I just, anymore, I just cut it all out. I went with my knife and just cut around the whole area. When are we going to take this home? What? When are we going to take the deer home? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking I might hang it in the barn here. And then... We've got this quarter at the here. Today? 
I gotta check the weather. I'm not sure how warm it's gonna get. Might have to do it today. That only. What? It says zero minutes. Is it done? Pretty much. It's still recording. I can get it till it's done. I can get about 40 more seconds. Boy, this is really tough back here. Thirty seconds. Then we have another tape. So huh? We have another tape, so right. it's okay. All right. So now that's loose. So I'm going to separate it here where there's nothing in it and get it out. One fifty-two. All right. So we got them clean. Um, I always like to see where I hit so that I can make corrections. I already know that I would have liked to hit him higher than I did. Um, get oriented here as to what what's what. I sliced the uh, onside lung. And that may be it. We might have had a one lung hit here. Let's see. Oh, I got some blood coming out up here. Well, Caden, we got lucky. We got a one lung hit today, and that was it. And we got our deer. Um, so, my shot was a lot lower than where I like to put it. It was right on if he'd have been out further, because it would have been a nice heart shot, but he was so close. I mean, it was like... Six yards. Probably. Yeah. Probably six yards from the tree. And, uh, got a one lung hit. Got lucky. Did get lucky, because I've had them go. I've had one lung hits that... I had one, get this. I had one a couple years ago, a five point. I shot him in the evening. I, he was quartered to me. I took him behind the shoulder. I knew I was probably onside long liver hit. That's what I planned on. And uh, waited. It had been well over an hour. Went up, got help. We tracked him. We jumped him up that night. Decided to back out and go at it the next morning. We did end up finding him the next morning. But get this. This was at like, I shot him like, you know, around 5 in the evening. And we found him about 9 o'clock the next morning. It had been 34 degrees that night. And when I found him, he was very warm. He was not stiff at all. So to me, he had just died. And that was a one lung liver hit. And, you know, he lived all night long. Um, and it's a shame that, you know, he suffered that long. But just to know that just because the shot looks good doesn't say anything about the resiliency of the animal. Um, these guys can stay on their feet and just go. Um, it's amazing. This guy, you know, I got lucky here. I, I hit him lower than I should have. Um, I got one lung and he bled out enough before he got to the river that he couldn't climb the bank on the other side. We got lucky. Um, we got a nice buck. Get him dumped up here. Dumped out. Ugh. How heavy do you think he is? I don't know if we could... The scale's at home. Mm. He's probably, you know, dressed out, probably around 140, I'd say. 
maybe a little lighter. What about on the hoof? Well, you usually figure about 40 pounds for the gut, so yeah, I'm gonna put them about 180. I don't know. We should we should weigh this one and find out for sure. Um, let's get him up and then see how much time we have. So probably all the video we're gonna shoot on this. Good hunt. Good job, Kaden. Come over here for the camera. Okay. Think it's got both of us on there? Yeah. All right. Cool. Good hunt, huh? Mm -hmm. First buck you ever saw in the woods. Got to you got to see him chasing does. You got to hear him grunting. Like a monster. Yeah, you got the whole works. It's a good deal. What are you gonna do next year when you're ten? Hunt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna hunt down here, aren't you? After this buck, yeah. Awesome. There's still another buck that broke that off, and you need to get it. There is still another buck that broke that off. Yeah. Nice buck, and he's broken off, so he was fighting with somebody. Mm -hmm. All right, good hunt, good day, great time with my kid. See you later.